Okay, welcome to this tutorial on how to model your own head in your choice of 3D package. Uh, first though, this tutorial is going to look at setting up your reference images in Photoshop. Okay, let's get on with it. So first up, you need a couple of reference images. Uh, you need a reference image for your front, or in this case your frontal portrait. And you also need a nice picture from a side portrait. Uh, so in this case I've got two images of myself uh, with very even diffuse lighting and very little in the way of shadow detail. This is very important uh, as it helps you resolve the finer details while modeling and also allows you to use these photos for texture purposes. Uh, as far as poses are concerned you need to keep a very neutral uh, forward looking uh, pose with your eyes open, uh, your lips slightly open and be consistent when posing from side to front. Okay, so with this in mind what I need to do is go into Photoshop. Okay, in Photoshop create a new canvas. Uh, use a e even resolution which is 1024 by 1024 so using the same pixel width and height and this will be much easier to set up in Photoshop later on. So first I'm going to grab my front image here from Earth and View. So I'm just going to copy, Control C, and paste, Control V, this image into here. Okay. And while I add it, I might just grab my side profile, and Control C, Control V, and the layers. So I'm just going to switch off the top layer, and I'm going to concentrate on this layer first. Okay. Good idea to have your rulers in place and that is done through setting the rulers here where are your rulers? not under view rulers and switch on snap okay it's already on and just set it up for okay we need to go to uh, percentage and 50 by oops doc damn you photoshop by 50. Okay, so I'm going to do a free transform in this image with Control T, and I'm just going to scale it down so it fits inside this dimensions, the 1024 by 1024. Okay, a bit more. In fact, what I want to do is put the top of the head up like so, and I want to get the nape of the neck which is basically just there. Okay, so symmetrical wise, my face isn't very symmetrical. I broke my nose when I was a kid. So too bad makes a much more interesting face, that's for sure. So when you've got the front lined up how you'd like, go to the side view and I'm going to just change the fill and then repeating the Control T for a transform. Transform can also be selected out of the file. Uh, free transform. Or under edit here, sorry. And we're just going to scale away. Holding down shift key. And what we're looking for is lining up some of our detail. Basically where the chin is. keys that should be pretty good okay we're just going to turn up the double click to complete that operation and my eyes are slightly out let's go so I'm going to turn off my uh, snap because it gets kind of annoying at this stage and using the eye as a guide I think yeah, pretty much spot on. Ears are a little bit out. This should do. Can play around with it a fair bit more. But I think all in all this should be fairly good alignment. So let's go off that. Okay, so I'm going to move it to the center here. Uh, with the center right where the jaw 
meets the skull almost, so it's a little bit lower, but that should be okay in this position. And we're going to go from here. Okay, so first and foremost, I might just start cutting out around the outside of it to clear up some of the mess or some of this unwanted detail. So I'm just going to use this selection tool. Okay, I'm going to turn on contiguous and just start deleting out some of this detail I'm not interested in. So if you've got a nice image, this should be a very, very straightforward operation. Uh, the pieces you can't get, just use the eraser, of course. Let's put that on full flow. And like so. Okay. And now the front view, repeat that process. Just delete. Okay, that should be pretty good. Deselect with Control D, and using the eraser again, just remove this unwanted detail. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, so that's basically it actually for that. Now, what we want to do now is actually start adding in some interesting topology. So the purpose of this tutorial is to draw on the top of these images a uh, reference topology. Topology is basically predicting where we are going to put our uh, geometry when we build it in Maya or in 3ds Max. Okay, so I'm just going to create a new layer and I'm going to lock this layer so I don't draw on it accidentally and I'm going to create another layer on top of my side view and lock my side view here so I don't accidentally draw on it. Alright, so I'm just going to choose a color uh, that suits me and uh, we'll probably look at just uh, probably just the red. Let's crank it down to a bit of an orange here. That should do. And we're going to use this for the basis of this tutorial. Okay. So this is part one of this tutorial. Uh, look for part two.